I'll start by saying the opposite. Mm. Uh, now we need to be careful that uh, dehumanizing treatment under the guise of counter-terror must never be allowed. We have chosen a democratic way of life in this country and uh, that includes people's individual rights, human rights, freedom of speech and expression, freedom to assemble, freedom to dissent. These are fundamental. These are values that we have accepted in this society. And that is why we have a democratic system of government and we need to make sure that it is always, always, that it should be protected. Uh, sometimes the debate in this country moves to what is the biggest problem in this country and people quickly run off trying to say it's an economic problem. I completely disagree with that. We have an economic problem, but it's a fixable problem. 22 million people in a world of 7 billion people rise in Asia. Asian economies are rising. India is rising. By having the right policies on the economy, this can be turned around. But the more fundamental issue that we face is not to do with the economy. It should do with equal treatment of every person in this country. Anti-terrorism laws have also been used to target minorities in this country. Now the ATA right, goes a little further because if you dissent or if you protest, right, then you could be targeted as well.